Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we got an easy dish for you new Dutch oven guys out there. So y'all stay tuned. So, anyway, the channel's been growing like crazy, uh, you know. We've got a lot of new people, a lot of new subs coming on board, and a lot of you guys have been leaving comments that you're just getting started out in Dutch oven cast iron cooking. So today I decided we're going to uh, help you guys out that are just getting started and show you something easy you can do anywhere, camping, at home, wherever. Uh, we do it at home just for fun, uh, just because it's fun. It's just an easy uh, meat and potatoes kind of dish, and actually I'm going to call it backwards meat and potatoes so let's get right into it what I got here is just a, a top sirloin steak you know we could grill this guy he'd be fine you could use a chuck steak round steak whatever kind of steak you want so I'm gonna take him out of the package the first thing we do is season it up well, when it comes to seasoning use what you like okay uh, here we're gonna use some of our one of our favorites that's some Seminole Swamp seasoning they don't pay us to push that uh, it's just good here I got some uh, rosemary that I put through my spice grinder and partially ground it that's gonna give it great flavor and everybody knows this one good old Montreal steak seasoning this actually gives it a, a great texture because it's kind of chunky you know and it just pat that in we'll do that on both sides now this uh, steak is also important, whatever piece of meat you're doing before you start this, start at room temperature. Okay, seminal small fish season, and good shot of that rosemary. Alright, I'm going to let him hang out in a minute and kind of absorb all those spices. So also, this is, a, like I said before, a super simple dish, but it's also a great dish to do at hunting camp with some fresh, you know what, venison baby, moose, elk, goat, whatever it is you just shot, throw them in a the Dutch oven. It's going to be awesome. All right, charcoals are ready. Right now, we're going to just pour them all up in a nice little pile at the bottom there. Sorry, it probably my arm was in the way there. But all bottom heat right this minute. Okay. Spread them out in a nice layer. We got our number 10 Dutch oven today for this. This is going to be just about the right size for what we got. Get that guy sitting on that bed of coals. That's going to get hot pretty quick. So I'm going to put in just a little bit of bacon grease. Our friend bacon. And yeah, can't go wrong with that. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but we finally got a new camera. Uh, just, I forgot I have now a, like a lapel mic, so hopefully you'll pick up the audio a lot better. I know We've had some trouble in the past with zoom mics on our previous cameras. Or, you know, want to pick up everything that's far away, but nothing that's close. So we just took our seasoned steak there that's been been hanging out in a marinade or in that spice mixture for about 20 minutes or so. We just want to get it completely coated with flour, and then we're going to brown them off right back over there in the Dutch oven. All right, that oil's had a minute to get hot. So now we're just gonna go ahead and nestle this guy right down in the oil there. This number 10 is gonna be just about perfect. And we're gonna just brown it in that flour. Still coming up to heat a bit. And then uh, we'll get it golden brown, and then we'll flip it over. All right, it's been a few more minutes. It's starting to smell awesome. I told you guys, this is for you, it's for you start, guys starting out. It's very hard to screw this up, all right? That's uh, one medium sweet onion. There's uh, about a half a cup of 
chopped parsley, about 10 petite red tomato potatoes. Okay. Just about maybe a good teaspoon and a half coarse sea salt. You'll need that for the potatoes. And of course the Backwoods Gourmet here with uh, potatoes. We like lime juice on our potatoes and that's about two, three tablespoons of key lime juice. Two cups of hot water. Let's pour that right in there. Now we're gonna put on our lid and we're gonna start moving some of these coals from the bottom back up to the top. Got to keep them out toward the rim, guys. That's kind of the, our general rule. And once you got a full line of them around the rim, that's when you know you got about the right amount. Just like that. Now you got to, if you get that done right there, we'll walk away from this. You don't have to really worry about overcooking it. Those coals are going to burn out way before you're going to be overdone. So the goal of the day is, uh, for you um, guys just starting out Dutch oven cooking. I've been doing a long time uh, since Boy Scouts, and that was quite a while ago. And uh, I actually went through a lot of training uh, by some other Dutch oven masters uh, when I became a leader later in life uh, when my kids were in Boy Scouts. And it's kind of grown from there. It is a lot of fun. And I know this, you know, huge following of it these days. You know, they say what you know, everything that's old becomes new again. Well, it, it's a revolution with it right now. And, um, you know, I hope you guys uh, can learn something from our channel. Hey, speaking of learning something on uh, the Backwoods Gourmet channel, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, hey, hit that subscribe button right down there. Uh, we'd be happy to have you here as, a, as another loyal subscriber to our channel. Um, another thing is if, if you like what we're doing, but you don't have the gear, go check out our Amazon store. I'm going to leave you the link in the first comment below here. You can click on there. That'll take you directly to the Backwoods Gourmet store where we have all kinds of cast iron Dutch oven stuff, grilling stuff, barbecue stuff, anything you might need for cooking outdoors. Uh, there's some great, great products on there, but if you don't see what you want, just use the search bar at the top and you can buy anything on Amazon. And every purchase you make goes to help uh, what we do here at the Backwoods Gourmet Channel. In the process here of, of making this video, I just went in, you know, uploaded this, uh, some of this video with this new mic uh, onto our editing software and played it back. Um, you know, we got the ice cream truck going by right now, which is typical for this time of the day. I don't know why it comes around, uh, you know, every time when I'm trying to shoot a video. So I'm hoping, you know, this is going to help out. But let me know in the comments below whether you like the new uh, audio that uh, we're trying to do for you or whether you, you liked it better before. Just uh, leave us a comment. Give us some feedback on that. All right, guys. Time for the plate. Backwoods Gourmet style. First thing I'm going to do is go in here and give it a little mix around. Make sure all everything's all mixed up. Grab our plate. Going to put some of that beautiful, beautiful sauce. A lot of parsley. And the juice from the meat little bits of the meat right down on the bottom of the plate just like that that smells awesome this meat is absolutely fork tender okay so 
So let's come over with a nice piece of the meat. Like I said before, you know, earlier in the video, that could be uh, deer, moose, whatever you're wanting to do with it. So there's two beautiful pieces of meat to go right in. Right on the side there. Like I said, it's backwards gourmet meat and potatoes. And baby, that's what you're gonna get right there. Alright, for garnish, pretty simple. Just a little bit of chopped parsley right over the top of that. And parsley is a great, great accompaniment to those potatoes. Another beautiful meal right here on the backwards gourmet. Just tried all this it's really hot still um, but hey if you make this camping you make this a deer camp for your family while you're out camping they're all gonna be totally totally impressed so hope you guys learned a little bit of something here on how to make a great dish with not a lot of ingredients and just a very simple process in a Dutch oven Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, please hit that subscribe button right there. To see our last video is right up here. And to see a whole playlist of cast iron Dutch oven cooking with over 100 videos, check it out right up there. We'll see you next time.